So in this video, we're looking at what is a resource histogram and how do we draw one for a project. Well, a resource histogram basically is just a nice and effective way to show the project cost per day or resources used per day or man hours worked per day, things like that. Uh, it's just a really great way of uh, effectively showing that to people so you guys can all kind of be on the same page and see if you're going over budget on a certain day or something like that. So first of all, what we're going to need to do before we draw the histogram is we'll need to draw our Gantt chart. So we can do that up here. So first of all, we'll have activity A. It has no predecessor, so that means it starts at the beginning of the project, and it's two days long. So we're going to do that with a straight line, uh, two days long, and it will look like that, right? So day one, day two. Activity B, it depends on A, and it's three days long. So we're going to come here and go three days out. Activity C depends on B, and it's another three days. So we'll scroll there, boom, out to three days. All right, activity D, this guy depends on activity B and it's two days long. So we find the end of activity B, come down here and put it in there for two days. All right, uh, then let's look here, activity E depends on D and it is three days long. So we're gonna start here and go right till the 10th day, the end of the 10th day like that. All right, so you'll notice that there's a cost per day associated to each activity here in our table of dependencies. So what we wanna do is the best thing to do is just write that cost per day right on the day uh, above each activity or below the line or whatever, or wherever you wanna put it, but write on all of your costs per day. So let's look at this. Activity A costs 300 per day. So day one, that guy's gonna rack up $300 for us. Day two, also gonna rack up $300 for us. Activity B is going to cost 400 each day. So this day will cost us 400, this day will cost us 400, and same with this day. Activity C is also running us 400 bucks a day, so we'll go in like that. So that's just for this single activity alone. But you'll notice that on, uh, for example, on day six here, uh, that we're also having activity D occurring at the same time. So that's gonna cost us $200 per day. So we'll write that guy in here and it's $200 per day, so each day costs $200, and then activity E here costs $100 a day. So we'll go in and write that. So that's how much money is costing us each day for the various projects, or for the various activities. Now what we wanna do with this information is we want to basically put it on a histogram. So we'll use the space down here. If you're doing this on paper, uh, the trick is just to, to line this up with a ruler and do two stacked graphs. Uh, luckily I'm doing this on the computer, so I don't need to get out the ruler for that. Uh, but yeah, definitely when you're doing this by paper, just do two right on top of each other and we'll make the duration exactly the same. So we'll just label the axes here. And now all we want to do is just figure out what the total cost for each day is and plot it on a histogram here. So let's take a look at day one. Day one and actually day two are each going to cost us $300 for those days. So we'll find 300 here. So for day one and day two, boom, there we go. We got 300. Uh, you know what, let's make that line a little bit thicker while we're at it, just so we can really see this. Let's go like that. Okay, so day one and day two, $300. Now let's look at uh, the next day. So day three is 400. Well, day four and day five are also 400. So we're just going to bump up to 400. And then for one, two, three days, that will be the cost per day. Looking at day six here, we have 400 and 200, and same with this one, 400 and 200. So that's a total of 600. So we're going to jump, again, jump up to 600 now, and that will be for two days. And then looking at this day, again, if you're using a ruler on paper, that's why this is going to be so much easier than trying to figure it out uh, without stacking the graphs. If you do them side by side, it'll be really tough. Uh, but let's look at this, we have 400 plus 100. So on day eight, we have a total of $500 being spent that day. So we'll come down just like that and then it looks like here for our last two days the total cost per day is just going to be $100 so we'll bring this guy all the way down and just do $100 and then just like a proper histogram here we'll just close off the ends just like that and maybe just to make sure we're all on the same page here we'll put on some labels so this up here is our Gantt chart and this down here is our resource histogram resource histogram probably should have fast forwarded that part histogram but whatever you're just gonna have to listen to me all right so there we go Gantt chart resource histogram you can show someone either of these maybe if uh, if you wanted to show someone hey look this is our cost per day boom like uh pretty simple people can see okay yeah this day is going to cost more than maybe this day down here 